Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my debt payoff journey and just kind of set the stage of where I'm at, where I'm hoping to go, and um, kind of what motivated me to start this journey and what's keeping me on track. So I hope that you will find this entertaining and helpful and relatable and I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments and I'm hoping to say more as my videos go on. So this is my budget notebook that I use and I use the Budget Moms printables for my budgeting, um, but I just printed them out and added some of my own um, pages and things like that. So the first chunk of the binder is just my goals for the year. And so I have savings goals and then debt goals. The biggest thing I'm focusing on right now is debt and getting rid of debt. So I had one credit card from the time I was like 18 and I was really responsible with it all through college and I used it like a debit card. I'd make charges, they'd hit, I'd transfer money, used it exactly the way you're supposed to, built good credit. And then I moved across the country and I didn't save for that. So I put a lot of it on a credit card and then woke up one day and had a ton of debt from moving and from just being in a new city and spending time going out to eat and meeting people. And so I ended up with a little over $8,000 in credit card debt. That is all on, was all on one card and with about a 19% interest rate. So it was really hard to start making progress on it, even when I did get serious about trying to pay it off. So come August of 2020, what I decided to do is open up a second credit card that had a 0% interest rate for balance transfers. And so then I transferred a lot of money into that card and I have that promotional rate for 18 months. So I now have two credit cards, but the balance is still a total of what I had before. This 8,050 is now split up between two cards. One is still on my Bank of America credit card and that amount is started at 5,850 after I initiated the balance transfer. And then the city credit card had 2,200 on it. When I got this credit card, this was the limit for it. And so I couldn't transfer more than this, but obviously I'm wanting to pay down the full sum. So what I decided to do was devise a plan of how I could pay off both these balances, get the most out of my 0% interest rate on this card, but pay them all off by the end of December, 2021. So if I started in August, that would be 16 months to pay off all my credit card debt. So the plan that I had devised was to move as much to this card as I could and then work on the Bank of America credit card now that it had a lower balance and really throw all my money at that and then circle back to this card while it sat with 0% interest. Um, but then one day I got something in the mail saying that the promotional 0% interest only applies for money that's transferred into the account by the end of November. And I got this promotion in August, so I only had a few months to transfer money in. And if this account remained full, then I wouldn't be able to, um, transfer more into the 0%. So I'd end up paying interest on the, the larger balance, which was in the Bank of America card and only get 0% on the smaller amount, which is in the city card. And that's not ideal because this is gonna accrue a lot of interest if it's such a large amount. So I was trying to figure out the way that I could save the most amount of money in 17 months. What I came up with was for August, September, October, and early November, I would throw all of my extra debt payments to my city credit card which is why so much is filled in here. The hope is that by early November, I can get this as low as possible, pay my minimum payments on my Bank of America card, and then in early no mid-November, transfer as much as I can from this into here to get this back up to the 2200, the credit limit, and that will decrease this. I'll be paying less in interest. And then when the promotion, when the end of November comes and I can no longer transfer balances into this card with 0% interest, then I'll pause payments on this, pay my minimums obviously, and then spend all, send all of my additional cash to the credit card with the interest and pay this one down and then come back and pay for the 0% 
at the end of my timeline. So that's a little bit on my strategy. I did a lot of spreadsheets and math to make sure I was going to be saving the most amount of money long term, and it feels like that is the best route for me. So just going back to my overall debt picture, this is the total amount, and I'm going to be doing some like visual representations of how much I have paid down. So just in August and September, I'm a good chunk of the way through. I don't even know what a percentage would be for that just by looking at it. So this is another representation of what it looks like. So in August, I put $500 of payments towards my cards, but due to interest and other things, I only paid off $336 of principal. And then in September, I was able to put $735 towards my credit card debt and I only paid off a total of $641 of principal versus the 700 and change that I put at it. It's still better. So that means in total right now, I have put um, $1,235 towards of payments towards this debt, but I've only paid off a total of $977 in principal. So that is where we're at. This one is a, this chart is a representation of the balances at the end of each month or at the beginning of each month. And so August, we started with that. September, we were down to 7,650. And by October, I was down to $7,073. And if we do some quick math, 8,050 minus 7,073 is 977. So that's how much principal I've paid down. And I'm hoping to be totally done by December. So I just did the numbers and this is about 12% of the way through my total debt, which is pretty good for only two months. So 12% in the first two months, if I did that for the rest of the months, if I put that same dollar amount, I'd be able to finish well before December because of interest rates that will be dropping as I pay off and move money around. And this one just represents that I hit the $966 mark, but I haven't hit the $1,127 mark for my total payoff. My Bank of America credit card debt trackers are a little sad because I'm not prioritizing them right now, but they'll start being colored in more come November when I'm ready to um, switch my focus from City to Bank of America. So I messed up here, but once I initiated the balance transfer, this card had $5,850 on it. By September 1st, I paid it down to $5,764. So that was only a drop of like $86 to my principal. And then by October 1, it was paid down to $5,675, which was a drop of about 89. So again, I was paying my minimum payments, but not making much effort, much progress on my principal because I was only paying the minimum payments. So lots to go on this one. Just a couple squares filled in on this one too. So haven't met the $300 mark yet for principal. And then my city credit card, I have paid down quite a bit. So in August, I was able to put $250 towards this card and the full amount went to principal because there's 0% interest right now. And then September, I was able to put $552 towards this card. So this card is receiving any and all extra money that I receive and extra payments that I can put towards any card. So in August, I spent my time just building my budget, figuring out how I could reduce my spending and making a plan to pay off my credit cards and pick a goal date and set up my budget. September, I decided to start trying to make extra income to put towards my debt. So I had already decided that my plan was to pay at least $450 a month to my debt overall, and then make more money to be able to put more towards this card. So in September, I sold an iPad that I wasn't using. I sold clothes that I wasn't wearing and I paid at least the 450 that I had planned to pay. And so I was actually able to put a total of 732 between my, 735 between my two debts, which was $285 over 
what I had anticipated putting, and that was because I sold my iPad. So for October, my goals are to follow the plan, so put at least 450. Right now I think I have budgeted like 480-ish because I canceled my Hulu and my Spotify subscription, and I'm just going to put that money towards my debt. Um, I'm still trying to sell things. I sold an old bridesmaid dress today, so I'll be getting that money that I'll be putting towards debt. I still have some extra debt from last month where I sold things, but I haven't transferred the money to the bank yet, so I'll be doing that this month. And then I'm also trying to find some sort of consistent side income job, so tutoring or um, Instacart or something like that to just bring in even more money. But these trackers are a lot more satisfying, so I'm more than 25% done with this card. And obviously I'm going to, I'm going to pay this one down and then I'll make a new tracker for the additional money that I'm going to be transferring to this account. So tracking for this is going to be a little weird. And you can see how much more I did in September, a huge drop off in September. And this is really great to look at, like really motivating. So that is my debt picture. And my plan for the month is to pay my Bank of America minimum payment, which is 150, pay my city credit card minimum payment, which is 33, put an extra 280 towards city, and then any other additional thing revenue that I t bring in, I'm going to put towards my city credit card as well. So that is a little bit about my debt and I have a plan to pay it down by um, a year from December of 2020, so December 2021. And I'm really hoping to do it earlier than that, but that is, I know I can make that happen. No questions about it. So that is the official goal. And then after that, I'll move on and tackle my student loan debt from there. So right now I'm not paying anything towards my student loans because of the government forbearance. And that is saving me a lot of money in the long term because I'm able to put money towards my credit cards, which are accruing interest. And that is it. If y'all enjoyed this video, um, like and subscribe on my channel and we'd love to have you along on the journey and stay tuned for more budget with me's and cash envelope stuffings. Bye.